Welcome, dear, dear Glenda. I'm so excited you're here. Thank you so much for uh, coming to have this conversation with me about your journey with the Helix Method. And mm. I'm so excited for everyone to hear your journey. Before we start, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself to those that will be watching our conversation? Sure, I'd be, I'd, I'd be thrilled. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm a spiritual coach. I help people who are seeking or do have connections with, I'm going to call it a higher self for, the, for clarity's sake. And by my own journey, uh, creating a unique method that worked for me called the Sacred Harmony Method. And there was still something missing, something a little bit more uh, palatable, making it walking the talk to be that with which, and I was missing that. And I found that in the Helix Method to be blunt and the actual items now I can reproduce it with my clients more tangibly so somebody can actually see quite humbling actually the clients I'm working with currently are like it goes to has but truthfully I had a I just got off of a call not long ago this morning like where the woman's feeling very embodied in her own connection with source and is feeling elevated and is finding the process when we just began we haven't even done the actual items She's being able to see things from a much higher, happier, connected, and uh, she is that already. And so when she does feel a little niggly for resistance come up, she sees the naturalness that that would be beautiful because it shows she's changing. Yeah. So we, we, we deal with the resistance. We set it up for the next time where she's still doing her 15 minutes of manifesting. And that's what I tried to explain. It's simple once we get a roadmap. And she has a roadmap and her niggles come along and we build, well, we, she releases the resistance, knows how to now. Mm -hmm. And we still have a little ways that she's choosing to get to where she wants to be, but it's coming quicker. She's, each time I see her, I said, well, we were just doing this a week ago to be, began the manifesting. And, and then she went, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, so how is that? Um, I was helping people feel their soul purpose, the connection before I came across the Helix Method. And by doing that, I felt like I had more trust when I was working on being in connection, mm. living that breath in, 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 in walking my talk. You weren't, you're not as fatigued. You have energy. You're spot on with your choices because you've got your roadmap. Exactly. And, and, and even, I, even though I knew the roadmap beforehand, it would, was taking me longer because I couldn't maintain the momentum in regards to my well-being and um, being in creator energy. Mm. And so, so, so the beautiful part was I seen that with um, being a master hypnotist and the Akashic Record consultant, I could have that um, knowingness and purposefully connect with myself habitually, which helps me and in turn puts me in a good place if I'm practicing to be that for uh, the coach. But the Helix method is what actually made it knock it right out of the park where I can show someone how, how the tangible left brain then can really just take a rest. If you're used to come, somebody coming from struggle and uh, lack of esteem, like you say, not feeling connected. So the opposite is, can show you how to strategize, show you how to, if this is where you want to be, what we're talking about being that energetically now, defining that by their desires and actions and wants. And by doing that, they can feel that. So mm. they can be that. And if I cry, it's just because it's so humbling. We can be and feel that now. And when we can't, when they can't, I'm just going to slow down because it's, I get excited. They can know the techniques to how to release it, how to be part of their self-care every day so they can. He said, this lady's only been doing it for five days for manifesting process. And, and, and I'll stop because that takes us away from what we're here to talk about. I was excited after five that. days. Yeah, thank so, you for speaking that because you're talking about the hum humbleness of it. Like how, how does it feel knowing that you're able to contribute to your clients in this way and for them to have the results and the change that they desire? Uh, it's extremely phenomenal. Uh, as people have helped me on my journey, that is about two years ago, I had an inner knowing to say that um, I've had a whole lot of people mm. show up to me in that category. And until I finally said enough already, I don't want to live from scarcity and circumstance. Um, I have a knowing and it's a soul's purpose knowing. Like mm. my soul actually kicked up a shit storm, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, 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 it created a fuss to say two years ago, you need to do something different because this isn't working and you know it. So mm. enough. So, so coming back to the moment. Um, 
how does it make it feel to me? I've helped people transition in many, many times into, you know, the other after, so mm -hmm. to speak. But that was because I was too scared to be in my ownership and empowerment of holding that same sacred space for somebody who is in the living and wants to live at their full potential. Yeah. But I knew I could, and that wasn't out of, that was just a knowingness. I've done that for 30 years as a Reiki master held space. Mm. And this is actionable. I have to keep saying it. it is so simple. If somebody is wishing, because you have to want to do the work every day and you have to want to spend time on yourself to meet to say, let's do this. And by doing that, the rest falls to the side yeah. because it's easy once. It's like, and that's what I love about, like you were saying about doing it every day, like the manifesting process that I created, keeping it so it can be just done in 15 minutes so we can build that muscle and to be able to make that change to our vibration every day. And of course, that's just one of the techniques I teach within the Helix Method certification program. Um, what's been your um, biggest breakthrough um, as you've been learning all the different techniques and um being able to start to bring those and the programs that I've created so you can bring in the you know the the love and confidence codes the wealth codes the health codes and being able to offer that to your to clients alongside obviously having the manifesting process as well that you can share with them um I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm shaking because it's just beautiful um you've created a process which any of us as a coach even if you've never done the process with connection and higher self if someone's interested in coming from that perspective you show us how you provide the means, the structure, the strategy. And if we really want to be able to walk somebody from there to there on their journey, that was my desire already. So what I walked into helped me to set my fear and resistance aside to be okay to take them on something they already desire anyway. We're just showing up to help them build the self-trust. And these are the things that you have built in. You even have them right down to what the belief system would be like for self-love, inner confidence. Like you say, the wealth codes, self-love and it's all embodying the same energies you're mm -hmm. helping us to just put all that down and I didn't say I'm a master but I, I I can be a good guide and an expert of what I do know so far and the templates are there if I want to better myself as well so and I am and it's lovely and you created this for us to be able to do that it's in, in a nutshell so thank you Louisa very much for uh without that tool I wouldn't be as successful to help someone on that journey and, 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 and it's and no journey is successful unless you can get to a point B. Yeah. So thank you for the continuity that people are, the short time I've been doing it, people are seeing continuity and changes. And I said to the lady this morning, you spent five days with your manifesting process. I said, how are other people kind of seeing you? And she just lit up and she just started telling me. And then she could really own what that was like for her. And we released it more with core, core belief resistance with, you know, um, following scripts, basically, that you've given us. But because she desires it for herself, she's fully into the process and the change happens pretty quickly. And, and thank yeah. you. Um, thank you for the opportunity even to speak about it because it just reminds me how sacred it is. And it's my honor to be in your program. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Glenda. Thank you so much for sharing that. What would you say, just thinking about, you know, your own journey and someone else who might be thinking about, oh, I'm thinking about the Helix Method, should I do it? What would you say to someone who's thinking about, um, you know, becoming a Helix Method mentor and adding that to their business, to how they serve if you, clients? If, if you are a coach and you're new, or if you're experienced, either one, it doesn't matter because the structure is already laid out. You are going to first learn how to do it for yourself so you become a better coach, more confident, more, what would I say to them? Hands stay on, do it. And I'm going to be really polite and professional because there's lots of other beautiful color floors I could find, but your heart's going to blossom. Your heart's going to open. You're going to set your resistance down so you can be in a sacred place for your client. You then can see it in you. You can speak to it in a short process. It's been, I'm going to suspect four months, probably by the time we do level one and two certification. Yeah. It's helped me, like I say, in the first certification, working with my peers, I set fear down about being an empowerment of what that is. And all it is is just being your true self. But I was frightened to let people see me in that. But that was a falsehood. It was an illusion to say, you're just making an excuse, you know? <laughs> Get on with it is basically what I was being shown and, and, and it's what I designed. So do it. Um, the investment you're gonna easily recoup if that becomes a 
you know, what do you call it? A return on investment? Yes. <laughs> it's, not I, it's, not, it's not the way I speak. I do something when it feels right kinetically and of the heart. And mm. it's, it's, it's no question. It's a no brainer. If you uh, see with yourself or any of us to see if it's fit, as long as it's a fit, it's, a, it's lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Glenda. And it's just been so wonderful seeing you blossom and shine and taking this out into the world in your own business as well. So I'm so excited for your clients because they get to work with you um, as well. Um, thank you so much for your time and sharing your journey. And I know you'll inspire others to step into the, what's aligned for them as well. So thank you so much. You're welcome, my golly. Who, who doesn't want to step into the creator self? Great everything we desire for our life and it and it not be a falsehood mm, exactly it's just it's 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 it's, it's doable mm. Thank Be, you. that's exactly it it's being able to live at our our best selves and be able to take that gift out to to be leaders to to show others how to the possibility of what happens when you start to raise your vibration and to change your thoughts and emotions and beliefs and to really be able to understand how you can play with energy and master energy uh, in ways that beyond human comprehension Absolutely. it really is magical <laughs> it's more than that it's who we are yeah yeah thank you yeah thank you lovely thanks for joining us